Hi guys and welcome to 123MyT's video on how to transfer data from iPhone to Google Pixel. Okay guys, so this is a helpful video if you want to transfer all your data from iPhone to Google Pixel. And this will allow you to transfer uh, data like contacts, videos, pictures, apps and messages from your iPhone across to the Google Pixel. Okay, we're going to do that with a USB cable, but the first thing you need to do on your Google Pixel phone, if you've already set it up, you'll actually need to do a reset on the phone because the data is transferred at the very beginning when you're setting up the phone. So um, if we go into settings and then we go down to where it says backup and reset and we hit uh, factory data reset and reset phone, re erase everything. All right, that will go ahead and read it, erase all our data on the phone. And then what we can do is copy any data across uh, from the iPhone to our Google Pixel. Okay guys, so the uh, Google Pixel has now uh, raised all the data on there. And what we're going to go ahead and just hit let's go. Okay, we've got to insert SIM card. We're not going to worry about that at this stage. We can just hit skip. All right, and it says welcome to your Pixel XL. And we just want to go down to where it says copy your data from iPhone, Android device, or the cloud. So let's uh, let's hit that one. Now, the next step that it's gonna do there is it's gonna wanna connect to your Wi-Fi. It needs to actually download the app that it's going to use to transfer the data across from the iPhone. So to do that, we need to actually connect to a Wi-Fi and download the app first. Okay, you can see there now it says installing data transfer tool. And it says here, copy data using a cable. So what you can do now, is with your Google Pixel, you should get uh, this adapter here. So this is a USB to USB-C adapter. And we're going to use the lightning uh, charger from the Apple um, that would come with your Apple iPhone. So we just plug the USB into the USB um, adapter there, USB-C adapter. And we're gonna plug the other end into the iPhone. All right, on your iPhone there, we're gonna hit trust. All right, it says phones are connected, so we're just gonna hit next. All right, now at this stage here, you can sign in uh, with your Google account, and what that allows you to do is it will actually automatically download apps to your uh, Google phone from the Google Play Store. If you don't sign in here, then your apps won't copy across. So at this stage, we're not too worried about the apps. Just be aware that if you if you don't sign in here, then your apps won't download. So let's hit skip for now. All right, and then it just tells you basically what I just told you then. So hit skip again. And then it's just ready to copy. All right, you can see here now, it's come up with saying, what do you want to choose to copy? So there's five meg, tells you how much. Uh, your available data is uh, 20 gigabytes here. So you can see contacts, we've got two contacts. We've got a couple of messages there and a couple of photos as well. So I'm just gonna, I'm not too worried about the photos and videos or the messages. I just want the two contacts to copy across. So then we just scroll down a little bit and we hit copy. All right, data copied, hit next. All right, ask you for your name there. So I'm just gonna put in one, two, three and hit next. Uh, fingerprint, you can set this up if you want to, but I'm just gonna skip for now. Skip anyway. Take all the Google agreements off and then hit next. All right, then hit all set. All right, and it says here your phone's almost ready. Contacts are being, uh, data has been copied. All right, and then we just hit finish. Press OK. And then we're done. Okay, guys, so that's pretty much it for me. If this was helpful, please leave a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe. And thanks for watching, guys. Bye-bye.